Good afternoon and Happy New Year. My name is Ed Bacon. I'm the uh, senior pastor at All Saints Church, Pasadena, and I want to welcome you to this space for this wonderful conversation this afternoon. Thank you very much for being here. Our brother Gandhi talked about the democracy of souls. And when we gather together to work on radical democracy and doing away with an unjust economic inequity, we are actually talking about the value of every human being. And those people of great wealth are no more valuable in God's eyes than people of modest wealth. And it is an actual strike against God to maintain poverty that grinds people down through slow violence. And we are here this afternoon to continue a national conversation that the Occupy Wall Street movement has begun, thank God, and has shifted the political discourse in this country. And we want that discourse to continue. So from my perspective as a priest, we're doing something intrinsically spiritual here today, talking about the value of every human being. And I want to express my gratitude for all of the energies that have brought us to this place to have this kind of conversation in this room and to have this kind of conversation throughout the United States of America and to have this kind of conversation on behalf of every human being on the planet. So for those of you who've been working hard, who've been working in the streets, who've been having conversations, who've been doing your research, I want to thank you very, very much. And I think everybody else in this room wants to thank you as well. I also want to uh, express my gratitude for the nonviolence that is at the heart of the Occupy movement. There is debate going on right now about how radical that should be. And I want my voice to be amongst those who understands that this movement will mature and persevere and bear great fruit to the degree that we all maintain this radical nonviolence and understand that it will always win the day. <laughs> nonviolence is intrinsically sacred. It is the most powerful force there is. And to the degree that all of us do our research, about economic injustice and do it in such a way that we maintain nonviolence, we will prevail. There's no doubt about it in my mind. 